Hi Scorpio, welcome to your August 2022 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. I'm trying to really mix these up because I keep getting some of the same cards. Ah, there you go. Aren't you happy that I did that? <laughs> Ooh, I like I like the Ace of Wands. I always like to see the Ace of Wands in a reading. Oh, wow. Well, you know, you, you had eclipses in your sign, so this is the aftermath of that. A lot of fire energy, of course. We are in Leo season, so not shouldn't be surprising. Well, speaking of which, should I pick another card? Maybe I will. Okay. The heart of the matter is the devil card. The devil card is a card of feeling that sense of perhaps temptation um, taking over where something feels like it has its grip on you. This could run the gamut from money controlling you even though you're um, not feeling your job lust in a relationship that's really not a relationship but lust um and even anything that has to do with those shadow scorpio feelings i would say even i mean it's not really I, i've never seen it connected to that but i would see anything where you almost feel like the person is possessed um like vengeance that feeling of like you know really not forgiving someone and being very uh vindictive uh and you feel like it's not like a high vibration whatever this is but it i i would say especially as it pertains to being tempted to stay in a situation for the if you want to call it the financial gain versus the spiritual sense of service to others maybe service to self more than service to others and that kind of thing and in in relationships things that are not really for your highest good the uh, the past position that influences this is the ace of wands so is this a Leo? <laughs> because Leo is a, is a fire sign and this is fire energy, but it's like a new, like an affair type of thing where it's just like hot and heavy and you just can't find your way out of the grip. Oh, another thing is addiction. That's another thing. But I, I wonder with that Ace of Wands, if it's some kind of like hot and heavy affair going on. Oh, affair. Maybe it's um you're married. And you're having an affair. Scorpios tend to be like, no, I don't do that. I'll, I'll probably get a couple of you saying, you know, how dare you even suggest such a thing because you're very, um, you feel like either very loyal or you just feel like karma is real and you don't want that to happen to you. That's like your worst nightmare. So you wouldn't do that to somebody else. Well, um, sometimes things take you by surprise, um, especially if you're not happy in your relationship. The higher message is something has to give, meaning that um, just like what I was saying, even if you stay with someone, let's say you're you're in a, a, a marriage or the equivalent type of relationship, it's a serious relationship, it may be a long-term relationship, but you're not happy, not feeling emotionally fulfilled, and, um, and you're saying, well, I, you know, yes, I'm not happy, blah, 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 but I'm staying with this because that's what you do. You do not do, you do not cheat on your partner. That's either that's unbiblical or that is, you know, against marriage, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is that you can try to keep that dissatisfaction down and eventually it will blow its stack. And that's why I say sometimes people, when they make excuse of why they had an affair, 
they'll tell the other person it just happened and people are like oh yeah right sure nothing just happens like that you don't just jump into bed with somebody but what they mean is that they were dissatisfied with that relationship for a long time and they finally caved because they were feeling so um, unsatisfied and it's like it's not that they are excusing that behavior and saying, you know, hey, this is why this happened and just get over yourself. But they, they're they trying to explain, you know, and there could be this hook that the devil card has into you because you feel that it's hard to break away. Why do you feel that way? Because um, it may be that you don't have a sense that um, you're, you have something to fight for. Like if you're, like if you found yourself in this situation because your marriage sucks, it's hard to like give up an exciting thing because the ace of wands can be very exciting for this thing that sucks, you know? So it's like, you don't quite know what to do. The card that crosses you is the Knight of Pentacles. If this is a work-related situation, um, you can be, it's almost like playing hooky. You can be feeling the sense of like, I you're so not into it that you don't have a good work ethic. Um, the Ace of Wands can be like new ideas, fresh energy coming in that you want to do some kind of work that is your own personal baby. So it might be like some kind of a, um, you're creating some, you know, um, your own business and it feels very exhilarating because you have this freedom that you didn't have. But if you're still working that job, you just feel this sense of like indifference to it. You're not, you're doing a crap tastic job and you know, the best thing always is to work with a sense of doing your highest level of work no matter what if you are getting out of that if you do want to quit for instance quit on a high note don't just kind of give it your bare minimum effort because um simply because you're just kind of going through the motions because you the more you can have that good work ethic no matter what and then when you leave you leave on a high note rather than you know people thinking that you really suck you know <laughs> not that it matters what people think but just the the energetics of it i would say what's coming in is the eight of wands a lot of things thrown at you a lot of possibilities um if you have kind of gotten into some kind of an affair, and I'm not saying you're even cheating on somebody, but you're having this kind of a fling that is mostly sexual, it's not really emotional, things are going to free up in your life, according to this card, that um, make it so you don't need that diversion necessarily. And that might be a good thing not to have that diversion because maybe it's distracting you from other things that you want to do. And so, in other words, the stagnancy of your life may really start to dissipate, and that would be a good thing. Um, the outcome is the Two of Wands. So you may feel at the crossroads between two different types of professions. And um, again, one may be high paying. I've been getting this theme. And part of it, too, I think is kind of a test because I think a lot of people are going through ever since um, 2020, they have been getting that spiritual upgrade, which means that they have to play at a higher level. No longer can we live in this materialistic mindset. And that was kind of what the the um, the card associated with uh, the devil to me is all about and that card is connected to saturn satan saturn or capricorn you know the sign of capricorn 
And so um, that was one of the things I got this theme for another uh, reading that I just did. And I, it just dawned on me because I was having trouble with it. Uh, it was the, the Queen of Pentacles. I didn't get the Devil card, but I did get the Queen of Pentacles. And what I said was that I finally kind of figured out that it could be a situation of feeling like um, you have this cushy lifestyle and you feel tempted to stay with someone simply for the financial benefits. And how I, I mean, I could read this that you're going to decide to choose and you choose on having that lifestyle. But I think that what I would say about this card is that you're capable of giving that to yourself. You don't need that from another person. We think of the queen, we think, think of this is a double feminine energy, so it could have that dependency attached to it. And it's like when people make decisions based on, oh, well, this person isn't, isn't giving me this and that, they're kind of uh, losing their sovereignty. They're really depending on somebody outside of themselves. You can create this for yourself, no matter where you are. And it can be a situation if you feel called upon between two types of work, maybe the work that you're doing is, it may pay well, but you are away from home a lot and you don't like that and you really want to enjoy your life, then you will choose that the, to enjoy the fruits of your labor that you've already worked for, that you don't need. It might be saying you've already worked for all these things. You have that financial abundance around you. What are you, you know, doing? Um, yeah, it's very interesting. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.